and welcome back to a very sunny Hannah's Car Talk video. Today is a very exciting day as we're going to be talking about a brand new release. This behind me is the Fiat 500e La Prima or La Prima, I don't know how you say it, um, Cabriolet. Before I jump into today's video, I'd be really grateful if you could please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Right, let's jump into it. Now, traditionally, I think the Fiat 500 has always been known as a cute looking car. However, with this new modern and futuristic styling, I think it helps it keep up top with its competitors on the current electric market. As you can see, the Fiat 500e takes on a much more bubble-like shape. Everything's much more rounder and it's got rid of all of those harsh lines. I actually think the design is pretty good. The La Prima trim comes in three colour choices, mineral grey, celestial blue and of course ocean green which is the colour that I'm here with today. And this is personally the colour that I would choose. Some of the Fiat 500e's new design features include these LED infinity lights as well as unique side indicators here and you also get an individual dedicated badge on the rear to state that the vehicle is fully electric. Now, this is a pretty cool feature. The door handles are hidden just underneath here and you've got a soft touch button, which you obviously press to lock and unlock the doors. Another new feature is the rebranding of the 500 logo, adding an E into one of the zeros to make you aware that the vehicle is electric. Other little details include the 500 logo embossed into the rear lights. I think that the Fiat 500e style in general is just a modern take on a classic that we all know and love. There's nothing to really dislike. Jumping inside the Fiat 500e actually feels really alien. I thought this would feel totally familiar considering I'm an ex-Fiat 500 owner. Shocker, I know. However, this just feels so much more sleek and really modern. I suppose it goes to show just how far Fiat have come. Sitting inside the cabin, it actually feels pretty spacious. I've got lots of head height, my arms aren't restricted, plenty of leg room, however, I am only five foot five, so that might have something to do with it. Now, this is the highest level of trim you can get on the Fiat 500e La Prima, and blimey, does it feel luxurious. These seats are incredible. As you can see, you've got Fiat embossed into these gorgeous cream seats with the ivory stitching, and little details have really been thought of in here, such as this skyline design on the wireless phone charging pad. The Fiat 500e La Prima is one of the first mini electric cars to come with level two autonomous driving. This co-driver feature allows you to feel super safe and really secure on the roads. This means you get lane departure warning, brake intervention, 360 cameras, and of course, adaptive cruise control. You name it, it's got it. And to be honest, with the way technology is going with any brand in any car, I think level two autonomous driving should be a standard feature so it's nice to see that Fiat have integrated it quite early on. Now, speaking of gadgets and tech, thanks to Fiat for finally upgrading their interior technology, it now means you get a 10.2 touchscreen infotainment system, and it's pretty responsive as well. It also comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard. As well as a remodernized screen, you also get a completely new digital cockpit. Now this feels very mini-esque. This looks very much like the mini electric digital cockpit. And I'm not mad about it because I love both of them. Now that's quite enough on style, as I'm sure you can all agree. As you can see, the Fiat 500e is a really good looking car. Like I said earlier, there's nothing to really dislike. Let's get down to the nitty gritty and talk about those all important charge times and of course, realistic range. Now Fiat claim that you can get up to 257 miles out of this thing. I'm not sure how realistic that actually is. They do claim that this is when you're driving in a purely urban mode, which you're not always going to be. So the most realistic range that I can give you is 185, which is still really good. 
something that the Fiat 500e does have is a Sherpa mode, which basically optimizes your car's parameters. It slows down things like your acceleration, regenerative braking, mobile charging, air conditioning, etc. A lot of electric cars do have this type of mode and it is incredibly useful when you're running low on that all important charge and there's nowhere to charge it. Speaking of charging, look how smart this Fiat 500e embossed cable bag is. It comes with level one and level two chargers, which is incredibly handy. Now, I know there's going to be a few of you that say, oh, how small is that boot? Yes, it is 182 litres, but please bear in mind this is a convertible. Okay, how many miles have I got? I've got 118 miles. I'm not going to travel very far. Turn on vehicle to use climate control what it was on so the acoustic signal has just gone off which means that the vehicle is now ready to drive that's enough talking let's go okay first thoughts are that the generator noise is not getting annoying and I thought it might have done nice long stretch of road ahead of me so I'm gonna really whoa okay quick this is very much one pedal driving by the way um I saw that in Carl Bell's review Matt said that it was very much a one pedal drive and hello Mr Magpie yeah he said that it was very much one pedal driving absolutely correct so I haven't got my foot on any pedal whatsoever right now um you don't creep forward it just you as soon as you take your foot off the accelerator that's it you brake these brakes are impressive i tell you that crikey overall i really enjoyed the drive of the fiat 500e particularly the fact it was a convertible and i could take the roof up and down as i was driving although the 0 to 60 is a mere nine seconds it certainly felt much more punchy so to summarize what do we all think? I think the Fiat 500e, La Prima Cabriolet in particular, is a wicked little car. I think the range is great. I think the style is great. I think the technology is absolutely incredible. I feel like Fiat have really outdone themselves here. There is one very small inconvenience, and that is, of course, the limited boot space. However, when you're buying a convertible, you're not buying it for its excellent boot space, are you? You know exactly what you're buying. So if you did want to buy the Fiat 500e La Prima, you can just get it in a standard hatchback and then you will have more boot space. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video on the absolutely incredible Fiat 500e La Prima Cabriolet. I hope you found it helpful and insightful and if you do have any more questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I shall see you all soon for another little video. Bye guys.